Zoo, the record breaker. Now, where did I put that tool? Hmm. There it is. Hello, Grandpa. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello, Zoo. <laughs> what have you got there? I saw it on your bedside table and I... Ah, uh, yes, I was reading it last night. Whoops. Here, let me give you a hand. Thanks, Grandpa. I don't understand what it's about, Grandpa. Why are these zebras doing all these funny things? Are they in some sort of circus? No, no. They're setting records. Records? Yes. Odd and unusual, but records all the same. You see, setting a record means doing something better than anybody else in the world. For example, um, ah, knitting the longest scarf, or, uh, or growing the largest vegetable, or... Or walking upside down with the tallest pile of cubes on your feet. Yes. And when you've set a record, you get yourself into the Zebra Book of <laughs> Records. So, can anyone set a record? Anyone. Even a youngster like you. <laughs> like me? <laughs> Ooh, something smells good. Mmm, yes, it does. So, Chef, what have you got for us that smells so delicious? <laughs> May I present for your dining pleasure Grandma's special oh. vegetable soup. Mm. Uh, your attention, please. Zoo has an important announcement to make. Oh? oh? I have decided to get myself into the Zebra Book of Records. A record? <laughs> oh, how exciting! Great idea! Fancy having a family member in the Zebra Book of Records. <laughs> so, what record are you going to set? Oh, um, uh... I'm not sure yet, but... You could set the record of the foal with the most kisses from his nana. How about the zebra who tidies his room most often? Mm. Or mm. the grandson who finishes his bowl of Grandma's delicious vegetable soup? Thank you, thank you, but if it's going to be my record, I've got to decide what it is. Uh, well, yes, mm. it's so it's right. who has record. to find it? So I'll just go and have a little think and... Uh, lunch first, Zoo. Mm. Oh. Can I get down now, please, Mum? All right. I'll let you know when I've decided. Huh? Now, let's see. Hmm. You like that one? <laughs> you would, Pock. The record for the bees' collection of feathers. Hmm. Perhaps I could set a record with feathers too. Hmm. <gasps> Got it. The zebra who can be tickled by a feather the longest. Ready? <laughs> stop! Stop! That doesn't count. I wasn't ready. Mm. OK, now I'm ready. <laughs> stop! Stop! No word from Zoo yet? No. I wonder how it's going. Oh! <laughs> stop! Stop! Oh, it looks like he could do with a little help with his record. <laughs> you tickled the wrong ear, Pock. My other ear isn't as ticklish. Uh, Sue, I don't think that's the problem. Try mm. using a special breathing technique. First, take a deep breath. <gasps> then, hold it. And... <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> stop! 
<laughs> Maybe you better find a different record to set. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Maybe I can do something with daisies. Yes, a daisy chain. The longest daisy chain ever. <laughs> Could you put it there, please? Uh, where it's nice and shady. Just the spot for an afternoon nap. <laughs> oh, not hmm? again. Hmm. Do? <gasps> Having trouble, Zoo. I'm trying to make the longest daisy chain ever, but I can't even tie two of them together. Hmm. Well, maybe I can help. When I was young, I was the school daisy necklace champion. <laughs> Here, let me show you. <laughs> oh. oh dear, I seem to have lost my touch. <laughs> Never mind. I'll think of something else. You're still my favourite Nano. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still my favourite zoo. <laughs> 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 hmm. <laughs> Come on, Pock. So, uh, this is your record attempt, eh? Yes. It's going to be the highest heap of pebbles ever built by a little zebra. <laughs> hmm. Oh, no. Oh, don't worry. You can't always succeed first time round. Hmm. I've tried all sorts of records, but they just don't work. I'm out of ideas. <sighs> hmm. I know what. Why don't you have a nice long soak in the bath? Hmm? Well, the bath's the place where I have all my best ideas. Come on. If you say so. No ideas for your record yet, Zoo. No, this bath isn't working. Let's just wait a little longer. Hmm. Hey, I think I've got an idea, Grandpa. Ha <laughs> See? I told you the bath was the best place for a good think. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, May I present to you the fastest soap bubble popper of all time, who will now set the record of 20 popped bubbles in one minute. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go! One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh. oh no! The bubbles flew away. Oh dear, Zoo, time's up. Oh. Five popped bubbles. Not bad for a first hmm. try. The wind will drop soon. You can try again then. Hmm. Yes, this was just a hmm. practice go. You're not <laughs> going to let a little breeze stand between you and your record, are you? <laughs> As if. Hmm. <gasps> go! <gasps> One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh, Sue! Are you all right? Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> I'm fine, but. Oh, it was just a spot of bad luck. And we'll make sure it doesn't happen next time. Yes, we'll clear all obstacles out of the garden. There's not going to be a next time. What? what? I don't need to set a record. I've already got one. You have? Yep. So, what is it? <laughs> Can't you guess? Oh, just hurry up and tell us. I'm the zebra with the most loving and kind and helpful family in the whole wide world. And that must be a record. 
to the beach with her. And we're going to build the biggest sandcastle ever in the whole world! Aren't we, Daddy? Uh, that's right, Zinny Pops. What fun. Hello, Zelda, Xavier. So, Zinnia, you're going to play on the beach, are you? Can I go too, Mom? Of course you can. I'm sure you'll have great... <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> huh? Where did you go? Here I am, all ready for sand castles. And we're going to play games, aren't we, Mummy? Yes, dear. After I've finished reading my magazines. <laughs> Badminton? I've got something else to do. Some, uh, some homework. Oh. Homework, Sue? Yes, I've got a homework assignment to finish. Sorry. Mm. Daddy, can we go and ask Zack instead? Of course we can, Zinny Pops. Hooray! We're going to the seaside. We're going to the seaside. Bye. 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 Zoo? coming along. If you get it finished quickly, I could take you down to the beach to play with Zinnia. Thanks, Mum, but I think it's going to take a while. Mm, you might get on better with your book the right way up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Pop. seem all right to you at breakfast? Mm, I mean, yes, he, he seemed fine. Mm. Why do you ask? It's just, he seems to be a bit out of sorts. He says he's got some homework to do and, well, he's usually quite happy to get on with it. <sighs> yeah, I'll go and see if he needs a spot of help. Right, Sue, about this homework of yours. <laughs> It can't be that hard. Let's have a look at it and see what's what. I haven't got any homework. Oh, oh sorry, Pock. Sue, something's the matter, isn't it? Well? Hmm. What is it? <laughs> you can tell your old grandpa. Oh, 
Ah. <sighs> Grandpa, I can't swim. Oh, oh, is that all? I couldn't swim either when I was your age. Zinnia asked me to go to the beach and it sounded like fun. But she said they were going to swim. But I can't swim and she'll make fun of me and... I'm sure she wouldn't. But I tell you what, why don't we go to the beach right now and I'll teach you to swim. <gasps> Thanks, Grandpa. Mm, they might still be there, though. Then, then we'll go first thing tomorrow morning. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa? I, I, I'm coming as quickly as I can. <sighs> well, well, a pair of very early risers. <laughs> Grandpa's going to teach me how to swim. Oh, just as soon as I've dealt with this crab. Get off! Oh, oh. What do we do now, Grandpa? Well, first of all, you need to get used to the water. Now, grab hold of my arms, and now lift your feet off the ground. What? Both of them? <laughs> Don't worry. I've got you. Um... Now, kick your legs. That's it. Try and keep them quite straight and kick, kick, kick. That's it. Well done, Zoo. Keep it up. <laughs> hey, swimming's easy. <laughs> Hang on, Zoo. You haven't quite learned it yet. So what's next? That's it, Zoo. Keep it up. <laughs> OK, Zoo. Now, next, I want you to turn around. OK. Now lean back. I've got you. Ooh. That's it. A, a, a little further. All right, take a deep breath. That'll help to keep you floating. OK. And kick again, like before. <laughs> Well done, Zoo. I think you're about ready for the next step. <laughs> now, turn around again and face me. And take my hands. Kick off from the seabed. <laughs> That's it. Well done, Zoo. Great stuff, Zoo. Keep it up. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Zinnia. Lovely to see you. And what can we do for you? Has Sue done his homework? His homework? Uh, I'm not sure. But I can't ask him, I'm afraid. He's not here. He's at the beach with his grandpa. Oh. I'm sorry, Zinnia. I get the feeling there's a reason why Zoo isn't at home. Yes. Did you see how his mood changed when Zinnia mentioned swimming yesterday? He probably can't. Unlike our little puppet. Of course he can. He's older than me. And anyway, he's down at the beach so we can go and play with him. Hooray! <laughs> Bravo, Zoo! <laughs> Zoo! Yoo-hoo! Zoo! Hey, Zinnia! Zoo? Come on in! The water's lovely when you get used to it. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Do you see that? Mom, oh. Dad! See, I said Zoo could swim! Oh, well done! Well done Excellent! Zoo. Keep going! Very <laughs> good! That's it! <laughs> <laughs> Zoo's Museum. <gasps> Grandpa, what's this? Whoops. Oh, oh what's this? <laughs> oh, it's wet is what it is. Oh, what's this, Grandpa? Hmm? Uh, well, let's see. Um, I think it's Dabalox seaweed. You can eat it, you know. <laughs> Not that I'd like to try it, mind. Hmm. Me neither. It feels too hard to eat. Mm -hmm. Great Scott! Grandpa, what is it? Well, that, unless I'm very much mistaken, that's a brain coral. A brain? A, a brain coral? It's a sort of coral usually found in warm coastal waters. Wow! That's brain coral. How'd it get here? I, I suppose it must have drifted here on the currents. You're lucky to have found it, Zoo. That's the sort of thing you usually only find in museums round here. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, I've just had a great idea. <laughs> All your ideas are great, Zoo. What's this one? You know what Zowie said about only finding things like this in a museum? Uh-huh. I'm going to start a museum, and this will be the first thing in it. Now that <laughs> is a great idea, Zoo. <gasps> oh dear, doesn't sound as if Nana's cold's getting any better. Poor Nana, I'll go and see how she is. After I've put this in my museum. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Pock. That coral's very precious. Let's go and see how Nana is. We can tell her all about my museum. A trip to a museum's a great way to take your mind off things. C come in! <laughs> and you! Hello, Nana. I just came to see how you are. I'm fine, thank you, Zoo, except for this silly cold. <laughs> uh, uh, Zoo, uh, could you get me another cup of honey and lemon for my throat? Yes, Nana. <gasps> wow! It's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> that belonged to my great great grandmother, you know. Really? Wow! Nana, could I borrow this for my museum? A museum? I'm starting a museum. I've got some coral, and I'll need some other interesting things to put in it. And when I've finished it, Perhaps you'd like to come and see it? Well, I'd love to. And of course, you must have that cup. So, could you bring me some honey and lemon in a different cup? <laughs> of course I could. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mum, Nana would like another hot honey and lemon, please. But it's not in this cup, because it's going in my museum. You could put those in your museum too, Zoo. Ooh, what are they? Oh, they were going to be seed cakes, only I left them in the oven for too long. They're burnt to a crisp. Yes, an excellent example of carbon. Uh, like coal. <laughs> I tell you what, Sue, there might be a few things in my garage that would go in your museum. Brilliant! Something that Nana would be interested in. Let's go, Grandpa. Oh, hey, what about Nana's lemon and honey? Oh. <laughs> you missed a bit. I haven't got to that bit yet. Oh. What's that, Dad? I don't know, Zoo. Could be an eagle feather or an ostrich's. Wow. Can I have that for my museum? Oh, hang on, Zoo. All the best museum curators have a special way of collecting exhibits like that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where did I... Oh, hello. Ow! Oh, ha, 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 ha. Here we are. <laughs> Here you go, Zoo. Put on these gloves and use them to pick up the feather, just like a scientist in a laboratory. 
<laughs> oh, there's no telling where that feather might have been. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you know what? I think this is an albatross feather. Wow! Well, if it is, it'll be very rare. Just the sort of thing for your museum zoo. Yes, I like your feathers too, Pock. But this one's important. Come on, Grandpa. Let's go and find some more important stuff in the garage. Grandpa. Now, this <gasps> would look good in any museum. This telescope belonged to my great uncle, Captain Zentry. He was an explorer, you know. He gave me this when I was about your <laughs> age. Wow! <laughs> what? What's so funny? You've gone all little, Grandpa. <laughs> You've got it the wrong way around. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this has to go in the museum. Thank you, Grandpa. We'll pop anything interesting we find into this box here. It'll make it easier to carry back to Zoo's Museum of Interesting Things. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can find. What's this, Grandpa? Oh, <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. It's a medal I got when I was young. It's a bravery medal. <laughs> That's me, see? Wow! This has to go in my museum. Nana must have been so proud of you. <laughs> now then, what about this? This is the very paintbrush the ancient Egyptians used to paint the pyramids. Bright green! That was their favorite color, you know. Really? Wow, I didn't know. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Grandpa, the pyramids aren't green. <laughs> Just my little joke. <laughs> oh, this would look good in your museum, though. Captain Zentry's very own storm lamp. <laughs> uh... Grandpa, did you see that? It moved. Oh, so it did. Oh, now that would be a good exhibit. <laughs> A haunted paint pot. Oh, um, uh. Pork, how did you get there? Pork, I hope you haven't caught Nana's cold. <gasps> Nana! What about her? I forgot about her honey and lemon. Come on, Grandpa. <gasps> cool. Look, Grandpa, how did these teeth get here? Well, bless my soul. Careful, Puck. They might bite. Hmm. I'll give them a closer look later. Right now, Nana needs her honey and lemon. <laughs> it's you! Sorry I forgot about your honey and lemon, Nana. Oh, that's all right, Sue. Your mum brought me <laughs> some. Yes, she said. But my museum of interesting things is all ready for you to come and see. Oh, I think a trip to the museum will make me feel <laughs> much better. See you there, Nana. Oh, yes. <laughs> and this is my brain coral. They're usually found in warm coastal waters. So discovering one mm. at a beach near us was... Mm. Here comes Nana. So this is your museum of interesting... <laughs> My teeth! Your teeth? But what were they doing in the garden? Well, I have been sneezing rather a lot. I must have sneezed them out of the window earlier on. <laughs> I wondered where they'd got to. <laughs> and here they are in your wonderful museum. But I think I'd better have them back if that's all right with you, Sue. Of course, Nana. 
They are yours, after all. Oh, thank you, Sue. In that case, I'll give you two kisses. <laughs> one for finding my teeth. <laughs> and one for making me feel so much better. <laughs> this museum of yours works wonders. Ha <laughs> <laughs>